It is just the first Monday of February, but a busy time for BYU football. Last week on True Blue, we rolled out the fall schedule. The spring signing day is Wednesday, spring practice next month. With all of that, it's a pleasure to welcome junior to be wide receiver Ross Oppo to True Blue. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Are you excited to, I know you're in the, in the weight room right now, but as you see the schedule and you know things are coming, do you get that urge to get out there and play? Yeah, uh, you know, everybody's excited, especially with, uh, these new coaching uh, changes they've made and uh, you know we're, we're all just anxious to see how what what new changes are going to happen you know within the offense obviously the defense will stay the same but uh, I think everybody's pretty anxious to be out there for spring let's talk about Robert and I the new offensive coordinator mm -hmm. who you had a chance to experience during your freshman year mm -hmm. now you sat out because you had a broken finger mm -hmm. but uh, you got a taste of of what he brings what do you expect uh, fast-paced offense um, you know, getting getting the most out of everybody, uh, you know, since he's been here. He's been in the weight room, you know, yelling at everybody, you know, go faster, go harder, go faster. <laughs> he's coming yeah. yelling. Yeah, so, um, you know, I don't expect anything, anything less than uh, fast football and uh, fast offense. I think his strength, and, and I want your opinion on that, is a man that's come in with experience and a plan. And then, you know, then the beef to, to execute it. Uh, and you look at all the guys coming back, that seems to be what you need. Yeah, um, he, he has a plan and he knows what he wants to do and he's going to find the people to do it. And, you know, if, if, you, don't, if you don't do what he says, he'll, he'll find the next guy that'll do it. And uh, he's, he's been successful with that, with that game plan. And, um, you know, that, that's what we're all looking forward to. And that's what we've been training for, you know, running, running like crazy. And, you know, just when you started getting tired is when the workout starts. And that's exactly what he wants out of us. Wrapped up your sophomore season. You've caught passes from four different quarterbacks. Your redshirt freshman year, you had nine touchdowns. Last year, there was just one touchdown, a significant drop off. Mm -hmm. And now the key is to get back up for your junior year. What will you do to get back? Um, the most important thing is preparation. I think last year's preparation, you know, I only had to, to blame myself, you know. Uh, I had my shoulder surgery like four or five months before the season. So it, it was kind of hard for me to get back. But uh, I think uh, this offseason is going to be key in me getting ready for, for the for this season. Wednesday signing day, some new recruits will sign on. We'll roll those out Wednesday mm -hmm. night. You remember when you signed your name on the on the line? What was that? I, like I do you? remember. Um, you know, it was uh, one of the most important days of my life, and I and I'll never forget it. Uh, I got to I got to commit here with Jay Keeps and sure. Zach Stout, and um, you know, it, it was a fun time. We did it up in Salt Lake and, you know, had a bunch of BYU fans there. And, and it, was, it was a fun time, and those guys should enjoy it. You originally committed to Texas. We've told that story a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of that swinging back around is Texas is the home opener uh, in September for you. And then as a senior in two years, you'll get a play at Texas. Uh, so you get the Longhorns a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But uh, 2013, for a guy that's going to play all these teams, how eager are you to, to see the Longhorns, the Utes, the Aggies, the Yellow Jackets, and many more? Uh, it's exciting, you know, getting to see how you stack up against other competition around around the U.S. And you know, these, these teams, they're they're good teams. You know, they're top top 25 teams, and it's, it's always fun to to have good competition like that. First thing before you get to those guys, you got to get to spring drills, and and mm -hmm. your friends Cody Hoffman and J.D. Foslev, the leaders, the three of you back in the receiving core. So, what will that group's goal be next month out on the practice field? Um, just trying to get each other better, and uh, everybody within the within the receiving core and the offense. Um, you know, the, these guys, they, I don't know exactly how much they'll they'll do in spring because of their surgeries, but. Um, you know, it, it'll be fun to, to be out there with the guys and uh, new guys that come in, you know, just to make the offense uh, better. There they are, the big three, Oppo, Hoffman, and False Love will be big tools for Robert and I in that revamped offense. Something else happened to you over the weekend that's pretty significant. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to roll it out? Yeah, uh, proposed to my girlfriend on, on Saturday. Well, now my fiance. Uh, Jessica Ringwood from yeah, the soccer from team. From the soccer team. So how did it go? Uh, it went great. Uh, <laughs> you know, I fooled her into thinking I was in Texas, and then uh, I ended up uh, surprising her at a restaurant with with her family there. And you know, she had no idea it was coming. So I thought it, I thought it was pretty smooth. That's exciting. <laughs> so do you have a day? Uh, uh, no, out? not yet. We'll we'll have that within like the next couple weeks. 
Well, congratulations. Thank you. So you got to deal with that, which is great, and you got to deal with Robert and I, mm -hmm. which is good, yeah. and this will be a big year for you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to this year, but uh, I can't wait. It's great to have you here, Ross. Thank, Thank you. you.